Hi and uh, welcome back to uh, part two, chapter two of uh, modeling an elephant in Blender. One of the changes I made was uh, I actually moved uh, the arms up closer to the ear, sort of like he's giving a hug to make him a little bit more uh, cuddly and cute. So I'm just going to adjust these nails a little bit pause and sort of doing that intercepting with the model okay so let's move on to some materials I'm going to stay in the blender uh, render engine because that's what I use from time to time to render my uh, characters and for this tutorial I wanted to create more of a tune kind of look a special kind of look so uh, you're free to jump over the cycles and um, and use that engine if you like but uh, I know that the, the materials sometimes uh, are, are different in the way they're set up there and here but the idea is still the same so we're gonna create a new material and we're gonna call this Ellie Matt I'm going to give this a nice, nice dark purple. And what we really want to accomplish oops, is this sort of a, a kind of a randomish kind of light purple, and then there's a dark shade around the model a bit. So, so it has sort of this fuzzy look to it. And we're going to accomplish that by using ramps. I'm going to leave this to RB, RGB and linear and we're going to change this to normal change this to add and we're going to select this node on the right uh, I'm going to make sure the alpha is down to zero and we're going to give this sort of a light fairly medium color pink just going to move this down closer. Select uh, the other node. Make sure that's all the way up. And we, you can see we're beginning to get, get that fuzzy kind of look on the material. Going to make the intensity up. To have a little bit more control, we're gonna we're gonna use some nodes to further enhance our, our our material. So make sure you you have material selected, and we'll click use nodes, and we'll select the material that we created. And we like we have to add a normal node and we take the normal output and put it into into the normal we'll add a a color ramp and we'll take the dot plug it into the factor let's get a little bit closer here and then we'll add a RGB node and we make sure it's it's to add and the factor is all the way up. And we're going to yep yeah, take the color from the material and plug it into the first slot from the color ramp into the second slot and this to the output. We'll change this to ease, so we have sort of a nice ease effect. We'll give this a dark, pretty much like a black color. And we'll change its position. Yeah, that's about right. And we'll add another node. And we'll make this sort of grayish. Yeah, we'll bring that closer. Alright, 
that's pretty much the node setup for that material. And as you can see, we have that fuzzy kind of field going on there. Alright, so let's apply this to the rest of our oops, rest of our model. black material for our paws. Just gonna make that black. Yeah, that works. Before I continue these these paws seem a bit a bit out of line for a little a little bit out of line, so let's change that. Okay, that's better. Alright, so we can save. And now we're going to create a white material for our eyes. Oh, this way. Did we, re did we name this one? No, we didn't. So, we just name it black matte. And for this material, we just name it white matte. And that works. Turn up the emitter to make this a little bit lighter. Alright, so our task has white. Now let's go into the eyes. Let's tap in. So for the eyeball. sign here and we're going to bring in our LE mat click it again and we're going to select our black mat so for the eyelids we'll assign the purple material to it and to select the way I'm selecting here, where uh, basically it's, I, I will select a point, and when you hit L, it's, it basically selects all the points on this actual part of the mesh, which is very, very nice, really, really nice feature in Blender. And then we're going to assign the white material to it. So when we render, we have this look. So we're going to do the same for this eye. Create a new material. I'm going to bring in the purple material. Bring in the white material. And bring in the black material. So for the lid, I'm going to assign the purple material. And for the eyeball, assign the white material. Alright, that looks good. So now we will need some eyelids, not eyelids, sorry, uh, some pupils. And one way we can go about that, let's, uh, let's save. We can do this by using curves. So we're going to go to add, Bezier circle, come over to the Bezier menu, hit 2D, and we rotate this. And we just bring it sort of like directly in front of the of the eyes. We scale it down. And for this color we'll make it black. Shift D, move it over. 
of it. We're just going to pull it just in front of the eyeball. Just trying to render it so his eyes would look. You can always take the eyes further. I mean, you can actually model the eyeball like an actual human eyeball, or you can do it cartoony like this, whichever suits your need. One way we can do this, take it a little bit further, is we can duplicate this, Shift D, to duplicate the circle. I'm just going to pull it out a bit. Right. And I'm going to scale it down. And I'm going to create a new material. And I'm going to make this sort of a, a light green. And we can, we can assign it. Hold down Shift D again. Scale it down. We pull it forward, and then we can bring in a white material, and we can assign it. Oops, sorry. We don't want to assign that white material. We will we'll leave it black. Now that, that can work, again if that's something you want to do, but um, we're not going to do that. But just, I just did have to show you how you can further, you know, uh, create eyes for the character. You can kind of experiment and have fun with that. But for this tutorial, we won't be we won't be doing that. We just leave ours black, which is what I like. It has a bit more uh, expression. Our color palette is very simple, so the character stands out. Alright, let's uh let's create a nice background. So we come to the world tab, this button up here and we click the horizon color and we, we brighten it up and we sort of wanna give it a a light purple. Like so. And that's looking good. Right, so uh, we want to create some of the sort of these lines that are on the, the trunk of the elephant. So let's do that. That can be done in a number, number of ways, but um, we'll just we just add a cube and I'll scale it down. First, get it on the Z. I'm just going to move it and put it in place. And I'm going to tap in. Make sure my ex include and exclude is on. I'm just going to Control R to add a ring. I'm just going to scale that up. Another ring, control R, another ring. We're just gonna select the edges here. And we're just gonna pull those in. Like so. And we're gonna scale it in. Gonna select this ring. So it creates this sort of an arc. Alright, tab out, hit smooth, and we're going to add a subsurface. Tap back in, grab our edges, and let's readjust that like so. Alright. So in this mode, we're going to edit mode assign black to it. So we have our black material there on it. Alright. We're going to shift D. And 
just rotate it a little bit. Let's move it forward so it's poking out a little. I'm just going to scale it down. Let's see how that looks. Alright. I'm going to do one more. Shift D. It, so it's going to be smaller, like so. Alright, let's bring this down a, a little bit more and yeah, that works. So next what we're going to do is sort of have that black outline which is kind of underneath the eyelids there. It's not necessary but it sort of adds. So that's a, you're sort of able to differentiate a little bit between the white and the purple eyelids there, sort of add some separation. zoom in. I'm going to select, oops, it's a little hard to see there. Okay, let's see. Let's go from the top. So we're going to select that inner ring and the outer ring by holding Alt and Shift to select them both. And we're going to apply the black material to it. Same thing for the bottom lid. assign black material to it. So you have sort of a, a faint black separation there, which really adds some character. Now we're going to do the same. Select one ring, select the other ring. don't think I got that. I'm going to assign black. Sorry if you hear my uh, some background noise that's my neighbors uh, arguing. But oh well. There we go. Again, adding some black just around the in interior of the lids really adds a really nice sort of faint effect, adding some really nice character to the eyes. So we can save. And that is about it, folks. Creating an elephant in Blender. So now you can just bump up is your anti-aliasing uh, samples and you can render and there's your final model. I hope this uh, has helped you as a beginner, as a, as a modeler, whatever stage you are in your uh, in your art career. And I hope this has helped you uh, so you can make your models bigger and better. Uh, if this has helped you, please uh, subscribe, please uh, leave me a comment, any feedback, and uh, I will reply to you. I look forward to hearing from you all. Thank you.